stay motivated for school. Stay motivated to wake up early and go to a boring place five days a week is very hard and annoying. So I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to help you get well, motivated and stay motivated for school. Here we go. So my first tip is to eat like, a really good breakfast because this works for me. If I eat a good breakfast, I don't know, it just makes me kind of happy that day. <laughs> so it kind of changes my mood and it makes me like more excited to go to school. I don't know if that's just me or if it's something that will work. I hope it does. So eating a good breakfast will, you know, make you happy. And when you're happy, you will have the energy for school. So, also a healthy breakfast will work too. Reason number two. Um, a healthy breakfast will, you know, energize you. So, yummy breakfast or healthy breakfast. Tip, tip number three, three goals, I'm sorry, four, is to set a goal for yourself, like waking up on time and getting to school at a certain time. So say you wake up at 6.30 for school every single day. Just forget about extracurriculars. <laughs> and say your school starts at 8 and you want to get there at 7.30, 7.45. So you leave at seven, but then say you wanna get there extra early the next day. Well, you can set a goal where every day you take away a minute to when you leave. So like I said, you leave at seven. Well, the next day you can leave at 6.59 or 6.58 or 6.50. And maybe you could change it by week or month or Third tip for staying motivated for school is to think about what you're going to be eating for snack, lunch, or dinner, or just any meal. Um, when you think about something else, it kind of, you know, it makes you distracted, and when you're distracted, you're not bored, so it will, it will be helpful. Um, I sometimes think about what I'm going to be eating for dessert, because I and I usually have like about two different kinds of dairy-free ice cream in my fridge or fridge freezer because I am lactose intolerant so I always like to decide well yesterday I had blah 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 for dessert and maybe today I should try the other dairy-free ice cream I don't know but I always like to think about something else and it really helps me not be so bored during math class another tip slash trick you know TT is to think about school being like a game. So you're trying to get points to get better grades. So the points would be like grades. So you need to work hard in the game, like a simulator. And you will level up, like in tests, the tests will get harder, the levels will get harder. Um, and then you have like break time where you can explore the map slash campus and meet other players. So it's, you can make up whatever you want. That's kind of like my version. You could also just do like a Brookhaven role play. Like, you know how they do school role plays. Or if you're younger, you could make it be like when you're playing with your friends and you play school. I used to play school a lot, like a lot, like a lot, a lot. Um, that was my favorite game. So it helps. Um, I always do that in like the first quarter of school. Then I just stopped doing that because, you know, in the middle of school, you're kind of mellow about it. Like, I don't really care. I mean, at least I am. Um, so that helps sometimes. The, am I at five? One, two, three, five. I think it's five. I, don't, I have no idea. Um, it's to think about what you want for your birthday, for Christmas, for anything really. Like if you get gifts for Valentine's Day, because that's coming up. Um, oh wait, no, it's not. Whoa, that's next year, buddy. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, if it's coming up for you, if you're watching this later, uh, think about what you want for Valentine's Day, Christmas, birthday, um, Halloween, like what candies you want, because that's coming up in like a month. No, whoa, like a few months. 
um, or just like what school items you would want for school. You know? Um, so it helps because, you know, it kind of gets you away from the lesson and hopefully you're still kind of listening. I can do that. I can think about one thing and listen. Um, so it, it helps because you're just thinking so hard about it and like it's a hard decision what you're going to ask for your, like your big present for Christmas or birthday. Um, so yeah, that's one thing. Another Um, is to get like fun and pretty and cute school supplies. If you have fun, cute, pretty, same thing, um, school supplies, like it really helped me when I was going into fifth grade. I had a cute binder, a cute pencil box, cute pencils and pens, and it like made me so happy. And I've seen some girls with really cute school supplies, and I can definitely tell they're thinking about their school supplies more than the subject, which, eh. but this tip, it kind of helps you not think about, or it kind of helps you stay on the subject of the lesson and be happy because like you can line up your pencils and line up your pens and put your binder in the middle and like make your desk all cute with your pretty school supplies so getting good school supplies would definitely help with staying motivated another thing to keep you motivated during the summer like to keep you not being sad you're going to start school is to think about what you're going to be doing in school like you might have a friend that you really want to see because i haven't seen any of my friends in the summer um, uh, have I? No, I haven't. Um, a friend that you really haven't seen in a while and you just really want to see her or him. Um, you can think about what you're going to say to that person or what you want to talk about or what you just want to, like, you know, who you want to see. So, talk thinking about the people you love at school is great is to think about your next class or the class you were just in. If you're in high school or if you switch between classes, um, I do a little bit, or once a day, I switch classes. <laughs> um, you can think about either what you just learned or what you're gonna learn next class. Um, sometimes my, well, last year I had my least favorite, oh my gosh, math, I hate math. That was the first. Thing of the school like day so that was annoying but I always thought about like okay you just got to go through this to get to English because I love English class so much um or like you just gotta go through English class to get to math class because math is easy like that's what some people think not me um or let's say you have art that day or you're gonna do art um after school or you know something you're doing after school so your next blank, that's a tip. My last tip, because this video is kind of getting long, is to organize yourself completely. If you're thinking about putting everything in order and putting everything in its right spot and you have a specific spot for everything, then that will definitely keep you like motivated slash, you know, happy. Um, so that's definitely another thing to do because I tried that. I'm not a very like neat person. I, I'm really messy. So my desk was always messy. But I really like to organize things and make them look nice. But it's hard for me, but it's fun. And it looks great after. So it's kind of like a win-win there because you got good desk and good brain. Brain slash having a good time <laughs> but it will look like a pretty desk plus it like kind of falls into the school supplies one or like you know getting the good school supplies it kind of falls into that they're kind of like meshed together because if you have good school supplies you can use them to make your desk look pretty although you don't have to get good school supplies so that's one thing so that is the end of how to stay motivated for school video i really hope it worked because, you know, we all hate school. In a way, you know. 
because some people like school, like me. I really don't like the homework. And now I'm gonna have homework on weekend. But I really hope it worked because if it didn't, then find a different video of this same thing, just different. Um, it wasn't too hard to think of ideas, so I'm sure you could think of some that worked for you. I hope they worked. I already said that, but I hope they worked. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye!